Hey, what's going on, Fizz Nation? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks again for stopping by again this week. We're officially into June, which means we are getting close to the halfway point of this year. As always, it seems to absolutely fly by. It seems to get faster every year that I'm alive. My mom was right. And that also means we're getting into summer, which is my favorite season of the year. We usually see a lot of really interesting flavors come out this year, so I'm looking forward to seeing what we get. And the flavor that we're gonna be looking at this week is a part of that. We're looking at a flavor that just came out this past week from a brand that some of you might have heard of. It's been around for a little while now. I've been wanting to get to it on this channel for a while. I just haven't yet. It's a brand you might have actually seen social media ads for in the last couple of years. This week we're going to be trying out a brand new flavor from Poppy Soda. Now Poppy has been around for a few years now. It's supposedly a healthier type of soda. Claims to have 5 grams of sugar per serving, 25 calories or less, made with apple cider vinegar for digestion, and contain a prebiotic which is supposed to be good for your gut health. There's been a few of these new healthy soda brands popping up in recent years. This was the first one that I ever heard of. They have a bunch of flavors out like orange, grape, cherry limeade, watermelon, and even a classic cola, among others. I have since seen a few of the flavors pop up at my local Kroger over the years. And this week they just launched a brand new flavor. This is Poppy's brand new flavor, orange cream. It has all the healthier attributes that I listed earlier with what is supposed to be a very simple orange cream sickle flavor. I saw it announced last week on the Soda Seekers Twitter account, and I wanted to try it as soon as I could. Literally the next day, this showed up in my local Kroger along with the other flavors that they currently have available. I grabbed it, brought it home, and now here we are. So like I said, I've never been able to try anything from this brand on camera before. So this is gonna be a first for me, for both the brand and its associated flavor. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get right into the content that you guys are here to see. Let's go ahead and pop the top, give it the old sniff test, see what it tells us. Alrighty. Oh, okay, so immediately a nice strong orange peel kind of scent. And I mean, yeah, this actually smells like a freshly peeled orange. I'm not detecting any sort of sweet cream scent or anything like that. Literally just the scent of a freshly peeled orange, which I'm a big fan of, but as we know, the sniff test is only gonna get us so far. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and grab our trusty glass with ice, give it the old pour and see what else we can discover with this. All right, so as you can see, looks like we've got sort of a almost pastel yellow color here. Like you can see through it, it's pretty transparent. The carbonation did die down pretty quickly, which does give me some pause. Doesn't exactly look like what I would call an orange color, just a sort of muted yellow, if that makes any sense. But we've smelled it, we've seen what it looks like, now it's time to go ahead and taste it. So without any further ado, here's to you. So right off the bat, it's a nice, strong orange flavor. And it is immediately accompanied by that sort of vanilla cream undertone to it. It's like right underneath of the orange. The orange is absolutely the predominant flavor in this mix. As far as the complexion goes, it's definitely a lot lighter. Like you can tell it's not very syrupy, not leaving any sort of sticky residue behind or anything like that. And the aftertaste is more of a lingering bit of that sweet cream flavor that accompanies the orange. The orange flavor is pretty predominant and it is strong, which isn't what I expected. I expected this to taste a little bit more watered down. So I'd be interested to find how they pull that off with only five grams of sugar and apple cider vinegar, which by the way, you cannot taste the vinegar. That was like the thing I was worried about. I don't like the taste of vinegar. So when I saw that that was what was in here, I was kind of hesitant, but I'm not really tasting any of that. It's not overly sweet, but it's also not really lacking in sweetness either. And the citrus in this is not particularly tart, which I wouldn't necessarily expect because it's orange, which is usually pretty sweet, but they did somehow manage to preserve that sort of citrus acidity that you get with an orange. This is pretty good. All right, so what do I think of orange cream poppy? Not bad at all. Seriously, I was expecting this to taste very watered down. I was expecting it to be a very obviously diet tasting soda, but what I got was a pretty decently balanced flavor, although obviously the orange does ride above the cream flavor. Decent carbonation, no negative aftertaste, no negative residue in the throat. It's refreshing, it's pretty pleasant, and therefore, because I cannot think of anything negative to say about this at all, I'm gonna go ahead and give Orange Cream Poppy 
five out of five sips. We're on a two week streak, y'all. Let's see how long we can keep this going. All right, Fizz Nation, that's gonna go ahead and do it for me this week. Thanks again so much for stopping by. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit that like button. It really helps us out a lot in the algorithm. And if you would like to see more content like this, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you don't miss any notifications for future videos. I'm gonna get out of here and finish this up. You guys have an awesome week and we will see you next time.